Well, it's day two at Chamberlain Creek. And I've come back to try and get the images that I didn't get yesterday. And uh, the light is much better today. A little more subdued, not so many highlights and so forth. But there is a little bit of breeze. And so leaves are moving, which might be something I have just have to contend with. That's just the way it's going to be today. So we're going to wander on down and see what we can find down there. I'm going to be a little higher than where I was yesterday so that I can get a different perspective. So that's what we're going to do. Come on down. So it's day two, back to Chamberlain Creek to get the images that I was going to get yesterday. And I've decided to come down into the creek a little differently in a different uh, trail which has led me to this beautiful spot right here. And I'm going to use a polarizer with my 10 to 24 to a nice wide angle so I can get the beautiful sweep of this tree back here and this fallen tree and uh, the two bridges in the background. And I think it's going to be quite beautiful. A lot of greenery here. And like I said, the light is nice and subdued and that's the way I really like it. It's going to be a long exposure because it is quite dark in here and I'm going to use a couple of uh, neutral density filters just to hold the sky back a little bit so it gets a nice balanced image and uh, we'll see how that looks. I think it's going to be quite nice. I'm very glad that I came back this evening. The creek has significantly lowered and uh, I think it was a good thing to come back. It's, uh, the, the falls themselves are not as dramatic as they were yesterday, um, but I think we'll still be able to get some nice images here. And that's the main thing. I'm gonna have to get a little closer to the water here to get that feeling that I'm looking for and that perspective. That's what you have boots for. So I'm not worried about that at all. Have to get in the middle of the creek so we can get that. The light is a lot better than, as I said earlier, than yesterday. So I'm really happy about that. And uh, finding a few new compositions. Sun is setting. And I've got this beautiful glow in the water right now, which I'm not sure that you can really see or that the camera is picking up, but it's really, really beautiful. So I'm, I'm hoping that that color will come out in the final images. So definitely going to use the polarizer tonight. Um, that'll enhance the colors as well as take away some of the glare that we've got. Um, so always good to have for waterfalls. Also increases exposure time by about two stops, one and a half, two stops, something of that nature. So we'll see what it looks like. Aesthetically, I much prefer the water to be moving, but also not a white blob. And that also is dependent on your exposure time. In exposure time, uh, I'm unfortunately, this is pretty dark in here, not that you can really see, but I've got a six and a half second exposure time. And that's just about right. I wouldn't go any longer. I did some eight second exposures on the other side of the creek and it was just too much and it was just a white blur and I really don't want that. It's too much white. It's a little overexposed actually. 
So six and a half seconds works perfectly in this type of situation. I could have gotten here earlier, it would have been better, but we're working with what we got. So I think I got some great images tonight, we'll see. Um, of course you never know until you get home and look at them on your computer. I don't often rely on the LCD to give me all the, the final feedback. Um, so you, you're taking chances uh, in that respect, I suppose. But uh, I, think, I, think we're, I think we're safe to say that we got some really good images tonight. Always impressed with the diversity of this area. There's always so much to shoot here. Um, and in, I'm, I'm absolutely spoilt for choice. Um, and uh, that's, that's a good thing. Oh, there you are. It's a little wet. I wouldn't change it for the world though. I've got some really nice images tonight so far. Heading to the next location, which is further out in the woods. Hoping to get some nice trees and uh, in the mist. Kind of cliche around here, but can't resist. Need to get out and shoot. Need to be creative, make some images tonight. Problem with uh, wet weather or misty weather or foggy weather here on the north coast is that it's very wet and uh, can run havoc on your equipment and so we need to be a little careful but you know if you're not using your equipment what's the point 